Hi, English teachers. Let's talk about classroom management. It takes a lot of energy and patience to teach young learners. Sometimes children misbehave because they are playful and have short attention spans. Sometimes they've been sitting in a chair too long and just need to move around. As the teacher, you need to keep students' attention and focus them on learning. Before we begin, let's warm up our minds and think about the concept of classroom management. Let's look at it another way. What are the different ways teachers are managers in the classroom? Think about all the different ways you are a manager in your classroom. Take out a piece of paper and fill in this blank. Teachers are managers of blank. I'll give you 10 seconds. Time's up. If you need more time, just pause the video. Here are some ways I think teachers are managers. Teachers are managers of time, activities, transitions, student behavior, conflict with and among students, atmosphere in the classroom, student feelings and emotions, students' use of native language, and teachers' use of native language. Wow, you are a manager of so many different aspects of the classroom. Did you realize this? As a skilled teacher, you should be able to manage behavior with routines and rules, manage the pace of class, manage the classroom climate, and manage the language used in class. Here are a few tips to improve your ability to manage these aspects. Manage the pace of class. Wait time, three to five seconds. As teachers, you probably have a very carefully planned lesson. You know what you will do and what questions you will ask during each part of the lesson. However, you probably don't plan the time you have to wait for your students to answer a question. This is called wait time. Young learners of English need enough time to process their answers in English. After you ask a question, don't quickly give the answer and move on. Wait at least three to five seconds. Count it in your head. Let's try. Class. Do you have any brothers or sisters? Did that seem like a long time? It may feel like a long time, but your students will need time to give an answer. Manage the classroom climate, brain breaks. During the class, you may need to change the climate or mood of the class. Maybe students have been working hard on writing sentences or have been sitting coloring or drawing for a while. The best way to change the mood is to take a brain break. What is a brain break? Well, it is a break for the brain. This means doing a transition activity that helps students relax or change the mood of the class. For example, if your students were writing or drawing for a while, you can do this. Class, put your pencils down. Stand up. Shake your hands up high, to the side, to the right, to the left. Now, let's play a vocabulary game. This will help shake out their hands after writing a lot and get them energized again to start a new activity. You can have a one minute dance party and play fun music for a minute. Then have students freeze when the music stops and sit down. You could also play a quick round of hangman or sing a song students love. In all these examples, you are still using and practicing English 
while taking a little break from the lesson. Manage the language used in class, English speaking environment. When teaching young learners, you should create an English speaking environment in your classroom. Therefore, you should only use the native language as a resource when necessary. Maybe there is difficult language like an idiomatic expression or instructions for a game. This language might be too difficult to make comprehensible in English. Don't waste your time in class trying to get your students to understand it. In these cases, use your native language to explain difficult expressions quickly. Use the time in class for students to practice listening to and using English language at their level. Some teachers like to use fun tools to keep students speaking in English. Watch this teacher use a magic stone to encourage students to speak in English. And this is a magic stone. Whenever you touch the stone, you only speak English. The only language you speak is English. So I'm going to give you the stone and you're going to tell me what your favorite food is, okay? My favorite food is, and then you pass the stone to a different person, okay? Yes. yes. My favorite food is lasagna. My favorite food is rice with noodles. Wow, wonderful. My favorite food is lasagna. Lasagna too? My favorite food is pasta. Your favorite food is pasta. I hope these tips are useful for classroom management. Try to find your own classroom management activities that work in your teaching environment. After all, you are the manager of your own classroom.